Hi everyone, Linda Heldman here for Canadian Beats. We are sitting in Bell Park in Sudbury, Ontario, uh, on the shores of Ramsey Lake, and I have with me Elsie Morton. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today, Elsie. Thanks so Elsie. much for having me here. <laughs> so the whole reason you're in Sudbury today is you're doing a radio tour, yeah. and you stopped by to see our friends at uh, Kix 91.7, mm -hmm. which is great, great. <laughs> so let's hope they, they may at least play some of your music for oh, I hope that so. would be nice <laughs> yeah. even, if, even if it's on a kick it or keep it and let's see where it goes from there we'll have to wait and see I'm excited to see if they'll play it for you oh me too <laughs> uh, so you have a new single out I and do. it's called be mine it's called be mine and that was released when it was released a few weeks ago okay I'm super excited um it's actually the first song from my full-length album that's coming out soon. It's my debut full-length album. I'm really excited, and I wrote all of the songs myself, actually. So. All of them? <laughs> yes. Like, no co-writes on it whatsoever? No. all ten. That's impressive. I'm really excited. I really want people to get to know me as a person and as an artist, mm -hmm. and I feel like through my songwriting, they can really get to know me. So I'm so excited for people to listen to the songs and feel like, you know, that they want to be my friend and feel like they know me as a person. So. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... I, I've enjoyed our afternoon together yeah, so far, we've had getting to know an you. awesome afternoon. Like I've been like a, a tourist in the city, and Linda's been like the best tour guide. Like I think she should like do this. Like we should actually we, become we, like a tour guide here. It's like okay, it's Sudbury, so I had to take her to the Big Nickel. Yeah. And little did I cool. know that when we pulled in, it's an open house today. <laughs> so we, she got way more than she bargained for. Oh, yeah. It was great, and of course, um, well. By the time we, we do this, I wonder if we can superimpose the picture of you holding the Nico. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to see how those pictures turned out, but it'd be really cool. <laughs> check Sweet. check Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, because uh, there I'm will sure be a Nico picture. picture yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> And it was fun, and actually they were just getting set up for the Halloween stuff that goes on, yeah. there, which is neat. So yeah. That would be really cool. Yeah. Well, actually, Science North is just over there. Okay, you can't, cool. Yeah, and it's it's another really interesting place to, to check out as well. Yeah. Um, you get to pet a skunk, and they have a... Oh. A, butterfly conservatory cool. thing in there and it's, it's really neat so cool. yeah speaking yeah. of wild animals yes. um the music video for be mine mm -hmm. i actually filmed it at hope for wildlife in nova scotia and hope for wildlife is basically a rehabilitation center for wildlife so if there's any wildlife that's injured or if they're orphaned then people bring them into the center and they basically nurse them back to health so that they can have a full recovery and then oh, they release them into great. the wild again. So it was really cool. It was an amazing experience. Um, if you watch the music video, if you love animals, especially <laughs> wild animals, you'll love the Be My Music video. Um, we have a seal in there, a oh, fox. Yeah, it was bees. really awesome. Yeah, bees. Bees. I'll show you a picture yeah. because there was, this, uh, there was this beehive thing and you could see it when we were at <laughs> yeah. that dynamic earth and you're going hey I had bees in my music video. I did you can't really tell like you can see like the hive in the background but like they were just swarming around me it was actually really cool and they're really nice <laughs> but <laughs> you didn't get stung no it's um, happened before though but. yeah not my coolest thing to get stung no. Just, no. random no. fun fact um I lived in BC for a little while mm -hmm. and uh, we had an apple orchard so we would have to bring in the hives to pollinate the the trees and uh, one time when I was younger I thought it'd be a great idea to go play with it uh yeah it wasn't a great idea no. I got stuck so many times <laughs> no not so cool don't not play cool. with beehives but. <laughs> you have actually lived in three provinces in your lifetime yeah. <laughs> which is really cool yeah so I was born in Manitoba I was raised in Manitoba and BC and then now I live in Nova Scotia I actually just moved to Nova Scotia this summer and it's amazing love it yeah. <laughs> it's it's fun. It's almost like you're a gypsy, just traveling yeah. from province well, to province. Not only that, but like <laughs> literally, because I'm always on tour. Yep. Um, not only with my music and like doing radio tours and stuff, but then I also do my no time for that tour. So that's brought me coast to coast. Now tell us about that, because sure. you were talking to me about it before we were doing this, yeah. and it sounds so exciting for you just to get the message out there yeah. for kids. So tell us about it. Okay, so I founded the No Time for That Tour when I was in grade 12. It was actually November of 2012. And basically what I do is I go to schools across Canada, and I talk about bullying prevention, mental health awareness, and youth empowerment using my stories and experiences, plus the songs I've written to help and inspire kids. That's great. And, you, and you've visited, you said 450? 450 schools across Canada. That is incredible. That is just... It's if, crazy. It's awesome. Yeah. So if anyone wanted more information to contact you about that, yeah. they would go to... Notimeforthattour.com. So the tour is called No Time for That Tour. And basically, 
I will go anywhere if I can. Um, I don't charge the schools for the presentation, which is what makes our presentation really unique and really cool. So there's no fee charge to schools. What we do instead is try to get a local sponsor involved, mm -hmm. which is awesome. But for schools that have limited budgets or who don't always have, you know, don't think they can bring in presenters, it's really cool and it's an opportunity for them to. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. It's more important getting the message exactly. out there than how much money is going into your pocket. Exactly, for it. exactly. So, so yeah, so. It's, it's charity and. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That is. Uh, it, so the music is just a bonus for when you're doing yeah. that. And and it just, I had the the pleasure of first meeting you and getting to know you yeah. in, and I was going to say Halifax, <laughs> in London, uh, during Canadian Country yeah. Music Week when I emceed the Thursday afternoon for Diamonds in the Rough. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And you were so good. Thank you. <laughs> it was so good. And you're you just, you're just so... So positive. Something's crawling on me. What's crawling on me? <laughs> oh, it's a spider. No, get away. <laughs> he was on this shoulder. I thought I got him. No, he must have just crawled across my back oh my and God. got on that shoulder. Okay. Oh, I actually, this is just a story. Okay, so North Bay this morning. I was at Country, <laughs> Country 600. And um, I went to, like, the front door. And I wasn't really paying attention. I was, like, half on my phone. And I went to, like, open the door. And then I was like, hey, what is on my hand? I look. I had put my hand through, like, the biggest spider web. Oh. With, like, the biggest spider. <laughs> and it was just, like, right there. And I'm like, oh, my God. There so, are a lot of spiders in North Bay. Yeah. Yes. I noticed. There are a, a lot. lot. And also where I live in Nova Scotia, there are a lot of spiders. <laughs> which I like, crazy amount of spiders. So I'm, I'm kind of getting used to it, but it's like... I don't know if I can ever get used to spiders. So. The other thing they get a lot of there are uh, shad flies. Okay. So, and being right by um, the water, you know, the fish love them. Yeah. Uh, it's just, yeah. So when they're in full <laughs> season, forget about fishing because, you know, <laughs> the fish are getting full on oh, all geez. of them that just float on the water. So, yeah, cool, <laughs> cool. So you have a new album coming out yep. soon. It's, it's in the can. It's... Ready, ready to yes. go. Got the mastered files back last night. I haven't had a chance to listen to them yet, but I'm so excited. Like I said, I wrote the songs myself, and then the entire album is actually Canadian, 100% Canadian, which is really cool. I have had so many talented musicians on the album. You have. Yeah. Uh, when we were having lunch, you were listing off, and it's like yeah. Murray Pulver, yeah. uh, Dave Wasilu. Oh, you're Doc doing Walker. good, yes. <laughs> um, Ariel um, Fosen. Ariel, yes, yes, love him. Joey Landreth. Yeah. Like, these are big Cody Canadian Wesiak, names. Brennan Wall. Yep. These are big Canadian names. Yep. This is exciting. You're awesome. We have to tag all these people. Oh, in yes, this we now. so yeah, do. We, we absolutely <laughs> Brenda do. Brenda Thorvaldson. Sean Dealey was our engineer. He's awesome. Uh, Rich Shickey's mixing for, and mastering for us. Yeah, it's just been incredible. Like, that, just with the support of them Soul behind James, you alone. Soul James, she did some backing vocals for me. I also had a Prairie Voices Choir sing on one of my oh songs. Oh, my goodness. It's really cool. And that song I'm really excited about. It's one of my favorites, the song that the choir sang on. So, Well, I can't wait for you to send me a copy so I can oh, yeah. review it for <laughs> our, our readers, viewers at Canadian Beats to, <laughs> to yeah. see Yeah, oh, I hope you guys like it. And take a listen. Absolutely. Yeah. hope you guys like it. Well, Trying to keep it real. So Yeah. So you're going to do a... a an acoustic for me yeah um, is, is it gonna be be mine yeah sure okay all righty well we can do that um is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap this up um just some I don't know I'll just say some random things about me okay so um let's see I like old buildings a lot I think old buildings are really really cool um I love ice cream I love ice cream. Any particular flavor uh no I just like ice cream in okay. general like ice cream everything <laughs> I love water like I just love being around water so the fact that we're here right now you guys can't see but on the other side of the camera it's beautiful water so like this whole time I've just been like kind of watching the water there's yep. sailboats yep super pretty how many cities do you know of that have a lake right in the middle of it not very many <laughs> it's so cool it's, it's so pretty yeah there's a whole bunch of seagulls flying over there and nice. and Laurentian University and our our uh, hospital and yeah. yeah it's all these things just surround the lake and it's just it's it's such a nice it's place really, this is a really nice park yeah it is yep. yeah it's very popular uh, a lot of people come running just walking just hanging out yeah, it's awesome uh, the yacht clubs there 
Um, cool. You haven't seen it, but there's the Grace Hartman Amphitheater down that way. Awesome. And uh, they have concerts. So who knows? Maybe we'll get you there <laughs> yeah. to perform someday. someday. Soon. You never oh, know. I'm also good at video games. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love video games. <laughs> um, Mario Kart. Have you ever played Mario Kart? No. Oh, no. I, sorry. You have I, to play Mario I, Kart. I, I stopped at the very first Mario, <laughs> Super Mario, okay? My kids will vouch, I am video game challenged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anybody else out there who thinks that, that you're good at Mario Kart, I'm probably better, so this is a challenge. Um, <laughs> Mario Kart competition, like, I challenge all of you. Um, what else is there? <laughs> oh, I'm vegetarian, too. That's also a random fun fact, but, uh, yeah. There's some random things. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All righty. And, and do you play Pokemon Go? I have not, actually. That's one thing I haven't done. Okay. Have you done Pokemon Go? I haven't done it, okay. and, and I haven't asked my youngest if he plays it or not, but, but there are people that do it, play it around here, yeah. so there's probably all kinds of Pokemon nice. here in Belt Park to go <laughs> capture. That's awesome. Because <laughs> I know nothing about it. <laughs> oh, okay. I like sports, too. I like a lot of sports. I like watching sports. I used to play like pretty much everything in school when I was younger, but then I've obviously been so busy touring and focused on music, speaking. Mm -hmm. I love sports. I'm a huge hockey fan, actually. <laughs> hockey. Um, What's your team? Well, Winnipeg Jets. Woohoo! We have a really good crowd. <laughs> yes, like, yes. <laughs> can't deny that. Yeah, we don't awesome mess audience. with like, Winnipeg don't. fans <laughs> about their hockey team. No, you can't. We're no. awesome. But <laughs> yeah, um, be yourself. Never give up, follow your dreams, and surround yourself with people who support your dreams, people who accept you for who you are, and people who bring out the best in you. Just live life and be happy. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Elsie. Thank you so much. You're for such a beautiful me. spirit. I just <laughs> love your personality. You're great. I look so thank forward you. to hearing your music, and thank you so much. <laughs> Elsie Morden, remember the name. Look her up <laughs> online. Um, ElsieMorton.com? Yeah, Elsie Morton everything. Super simple, okay. super easy. All right. <laughs> All right. And that's M O R D E N. Yes. Yes. All righty. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Elsie Thank Morton. Linda. <laughs> Linda Heldman for Canadian Beats. Thanks so much.